So without a shadow of a doubt, this compostable drip feeder has certainly had an impact on the quality of the comfrey that's been coming out the ground. And in today's episode, I'd like to show you guys how you can make your very own drip feeder at home with a few simple steps and a few supplies. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Andrew McLaughlin and I'm here to share my knowledge and my experience with you using our compost which we manufacture here on Tilty Hill Farm. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button so that you can keep up to date with all of our latest videos and watch as we transform this greenhouse into a beautiful organic vegetable garden. So I've got all my supplies together, let's not waste any time, let's get it done. Only thing left to do, instead of feeding your uh, garden table and uh, vegetable scraps to your compost pile, feed it to your compostable drip feeder and let the nutrients feed your plants over a prolonged period of time. So when I mentioned growth, I was really being serious. So. What I've got on this side over here is where we've been running straight water onto this comfrey plant. And it has grown, for sure. Um, and I'm going to add a link in and a photograph of the um, of when we first did this video, you know, of these two drip feeders. Just so that I can show you the difference in two weeks and just what having a, a compostable drip feeder feeding this plant has done. So you can see here the size different of a leaf. So this one over here was a lot smaller than that one to begin with uh, by about double and the growth rate has been really great. So this is one of the main reasons that I really do enjoy the fact that a compostable drip feeder provides uh, moisture, nutrition, um, everything and it goes straight onto the plant and into the soil. So it's been a great experience for me uh, to be able to do it and to be able to share with you guys how to do it. So yeah, we'll be putting that onto most of our plants and just testing out how it performs. 
so far on the comfrey on this one it certainly performed very well and i'm very happy with the results next door to my comfrey i've always got my comfrey tea over here which i mean you guys can see it really just looks disgusting uh, let me just give it a good old mix here and you guys can maybe see what i'm talking about it doesn't really look the best but let me tell you it's so loaded with um, nutrients because of the way that comfrey absorbs nutrients from deep down in the ground that it creates a wonderful liquid fertilizer which we'll use in a ratio of about eight uh, to ten parts water to one part comfrey tea just a brief update on the garlic the garlic has almost tripled in size since the last video this little guy down here so when I opened up the vermicomposter earlier I saw that that little guy was you know sprouting up underneath the newspaper so I've pulled him out and we'll see how he grows uh, see if he performs well over the coming weeks but garlic performing extremely well here ginger also performing very well growing very nicely lots of new shoots that are coming out uh, on all of them coming through with a bit of a strawberry update I've got quite a nice size strawberry coming up over here I see a lot of flowering a lot of new fruit that's shining through same story over here on this one we've got some lovely fruit that will be shining through we said those are adapting extremely well to their new environment and they continue to thrive so very happy with how they've been performing in these tires over on this side over here we've got some beautiful beans uh, they also really adapting well to their, their current environment we transplanted these guys out on Wednesday last week and they've been growing really well so looking forward to seeing how they perform over the next couple of weeks we will more than likely be planting carrots next to these guys so we're constantly planting but i'm not going to give away too much more today i've got a lot more on the go uh, we've got a lot more things that we are busy planting out but i think i'll save that for the next video for now that's it for me andrew here at progrow i thank you for watching and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and we look forward to seeing you all on our next video